To edit quickly in Audacity, you want to keep your left hand on your keyboard and your right hand on the mouse all the time. Let's start by going to Edit, Preferences, so we can add some quick shortcuts for our left hand. In the pop-up, select Keyboard on the left side. Then up here, select the Name radio button. In the search box, type Project Start, since we want a shortcut that takes us back to the beginning of the track. Select the only option that comes up, which tells us it's currently set to the Home key. In the box next to the set button, press the A key on your keyboard. Then click the set button. So now you'll be able to go to the start of your recording by simply pressing the A key with your left hand. Next, search for delete. Select the first option, which will be control K. In the box next to set, press the D key on your keyboard and then click the set button. Now we can delete with our left hand by pressing D. Lastly, let's search for silence. Select the control L option. In the box next to set, press the S key on your keyboard and then click the set button. Now we can silence audio with our left hand by pressing S. Okay, those are all the ones I use, but there's plenty of other keys on your left hand if you want to add additional shortcuts or use different keys than I do. Now we can move the cursor to the beginning of our track simply by pressing the A key and then you can press the space bar to play it back from the start. You can drag to select any part of your audio and press S to silence it. I use this all the time to get rid of white noise. And of course, you can select whatever you want and press the D key on your keyboard to delete it. There's also a couple built-in shortcut keys that are useful. Pressing the R key will continue recording on the same track from the end of it. Another built-in key I find very useful is the X key which will pause your video at the cursor rather than take you back to where you started playing the audio. Okay, and those are basically all the shortcuts I use during editing, which enable me to make selections with my mouse and leaves my other hand to do the rest of the editing. It really speeds up my workflow, so I hope that it helps you too. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.